Today I'm going to show you how to make your totem animal using a thumb clay technique. To make the shape of a totem you need a cylinder to start off with so you're going to roll your clay into a cylinder shape. Then you're going to press your thumb into the middle of the clay and you're just going to squeeze the clay around your thumb to create a long skinny cylinder shape. Next you want to start forming the shape of the animal out of the clay. So I'm just using a pinching technique by wrapping my hand around the top of the clay and pinching to make a neck and head shape. Then I'm also going to use my fingers to make smaller pinches to make the ears and I'm going to use my clay tools to press texture in and make the face parts. You can use a variety of tools to press these shapes into the clay very quickly. You can also use my clay tools to add different details by pressing or drawing textures into the clay. Next thing I'm going to do is also use pinching to create the face part of the beak for my animal. Different face parts can be made in different ways. You can use the pinching technique or you can use pressing textures or shapes with tools. Just kind of depends on what animal you're creating. I'm also going to use a pinching technique to create the wings on my animal. I'm just pinching some small wings because on a totem the parts and pieces don't really stick out very far. I'm also going to use my clay tools to create the shapes that I want to make the details on my animal. and press different details and textures using a variety of clay tools. Use a pointing tool to make dots. Sometimes I like to use popsicle sticks to make a feather texture or a scaly texture. And I'm also going to use a different tool to make a third texture. It could, could look like fur or really fluffy feathers. And I'm just going to make sure that I have a texture going all the way around my totem animal sculpture because a sculpture can be seen from every side. Just going to finish up my last few details. And then once my sculpture is complete, I'm going to actually take it off of my thumb and I'm going to make sure that it stands up. If you need to tap the bottom of the sculpture on the table, that might help it stand. I'm also going to write my initials and my class code in the bottom with a pointy tool. And I'm finished. Before I can wash my hands, I need to clean up by putting my clay art on my drying board, placing all the clay tools on the tray, stacking the clay mat in the middle of the table, rolling the extra clay into a ball, and putting my head down.